effort is underway to better protect teachers from getting hurt on the job. This is a big update to an issue WRTV investigates has been tracking since 2019 teacher injuries. Yeah, our Carrie Kenny joins us now with the legislation that some say would go a long way. Teachers are getting hurt on the job, breaking up fights in hallways and dealing with student outbursts. A state lawmaker filed this bill that would require schools to report teacher injuries to the state. Hannah Elliott used to be a teacher in Elwood, but she left the profession after getting injured on the job. I am a, the um, adult and teen services librarian at Jay County Public Library. We first introduced you to Hannah in 2020 after a student outburst permanently damaged her right ear. Fast forward to 2023 and Hannah told us she still relies on a hearing aid. It's just like an 85% loss of my hearing. Indiana does not track teacher injuries like Hannah's, but House Bill 1591 would change that. It would require schools to report teacher injuries to the Indiana Department of Education. It would also require the state to compile the numbers into a database the public could see. What do you think about the fact that this legislation has been filed? I am really excited and I definitely think schools need to be held accountable and that it's public record because I feel like a lot of it gets pushed under the rug. Representative Ed Clear of New Albany is the lawmaker behind the bill. His wife is a high school teacher who was injured breaking up a fight. She was kicked um, uh, pretty hard and uh, ended up having to go to urgent care. Why is it important to gather that information? We don't know what we don't know. Uh, as with a lot of issues, it's important to have good information uh, so the legislature can make good policy. Back in 2020, WRTV Investigates surveyed two dozen school districts and counted more than 1,500 incidents of teachers injured on the job by their own students, including a substitute teacher stabbed with a pencil, a school nurse bitten, a teacher's aide kicked by a student. And we found all kinds of injuries from teachers being hit, kicked, bit, scratched, slapped, and headbutted. Clear says the legislation would apply to all school employee injuries, not just teachers. Bus drivers and cafeteria workers and counselors and administrators and everybody in the school building uh, is at risk. So this legislation uh, covers everyone. The state is facing a teacher shortage and some say tracking injuries will help address the problem. If this continues to happen, it's just going to get worse. I hope that they take it seriously. This is the second year Representative Clear has introduced this language, but this time it's part of a massive education bill that Clear says has a good chance of passing. Working for you, Kara Kenny, WRTV. The state's largest teachers union says it supports tracking teacher injuries, but says getting access to this information has not been easy.